Hey guys, I am not the biggest or the strongest or the fastest CrossFit Games athlete, but I have one thing that separates me from my competition every time. And the good news is that you can develop this one thing too. I completed a half Ironman triathlon a couple of weeks ago with my 21 year old son, Keegan. It's a 1.2 mile swim, a long bike ride and a long run. And what's fun about a triathlon is that you are finding yourself in some really challenging situations. But I didn't know that Keegan was in a really tough situation on the swim until after the entire race was over. The way they start the triathlon is they have about a five second gap between heats. So I got in the water five seconds before Keegan. He was behind me. I swam the entire race. I really pushed that swim and he got out of the water about 30 seconds after me. I was super proud of him. Couldn't believe he swam that fast. That was amazing. But what was really interesting was what he told me after the race was over. He said he got in the water and one of the eyes of his goggle filled with water. So he stopped, emptied it. As he started swimming again, the goggle filled with water. So he emptied it, started swimming again, and he was starting to feel that sense of panic. And he just decided, you know what? I'm gonna swim the 1.2 miles with my eye closed because it's full of water. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna get this swim done. That is not an everyday trait. Another quick story. Last year, as I was training for the CrossFit game, I was working out consistently with a guy named Zach, very fit athlete, about 30 years old, in just before we were about to kill ourselves in this workout, he said, I'm prepared to die in this workout. And what he meant was he would do anything to keep up with me and possibly beat me in this workout. And the one thing that I have that separates me from my competitors, the one thing that Keegan demonstrated in the water, that Zach demonstrated in working out with me, is this idea of grit. Let's talk about that. There were two main aspects of grit. It. On a micro level, it's the ability to hang tough in a specific training session, to hunker down in the pain and the agony of the moment, whether to build up tolerance for pain or have a capacity to eke out a win in competition. It's the ability to outwork. Grit on a macro level is staying true to a goal, a long-term outcome that requires you to stick with it through hell and high water. The gritty individual looks to the future. Their advantage is stamina, the ability to outlast. So why would you listen to me about grit? I'm Jason Grubb, a three-time CrossFit Games champion, and I believe grit has been an integral part of my success. Truth be told, I didn't develop grit out of a healthy place. I'm the kind of person that has to be achieving something. You might say I have a need Need for achievement. Do I need to be liked? Absolutely not. I like to be liked. I enjoy being liked. I have to be liked. It's not so much that I want to win as much as it is a fear of failure. My grit is a result of me running scared, afraid that someone will catch me, afraid I'll be dead last or third or second. Do I recommend this as a good way to develop grit? Absolutely not. But I do recommend that you go see a good therapist. I do, obviously. But regardless of how I learned these lessons, I learned them nevertheless and want to share them with you. Let's go, Jerry. Let's go. Developing grit is like building a muscle. Thinking about it, researching it, understanding it will not make any difference. Watching this YouTube video won't make you a grittier individual. Grit requires action, and just like strengthening any physical muscle, you'll have to do the reps and increase the load over and over in order for your grit muscle to be broken down and rebuilt stronger and stronger. You have to push yourself a bit further than you think you can, and grit will grow. Pretty soon, what you're doing now will feel like a warm-up. The first way to build grit is to do hard things outside of your training sessions. Expose yourself to cold, like finish your shower with cold water, or take straight up cold showers or do cold plunges. Do breath work, long breath holds, or follow the Wim Hof breathing routine. Get out of your comfort zone. How often do you train in uncomfortable situations? Drop into an unknown gym. Do a CrossFit workout at a Globo gym. Work out at a different time than usual. Purposely work out without perfect conditions. I do this all of the time as someone who lives and trains out of an RV, primarily in RV parks. The second way to build grit is to play head games. What I do is I create a mental game for myself. Like I tell myself, I get to take a break for five seconds if I go unbroken on this set of pull-ups or take three breaths between each clean and jerk in this particular workout, that's it. And then forcing myself to step back to the bar no matter what. You are staying in the pain and not letting yourself out only to give yourself five seconds and then you're right back at whatever the next thing is. Another head game I like to play is thinking of like what motivates me. I used to have a client and she would imagine her children in a life-threatening situation. And so every thruster, every deadlift was her saying to them, I will force myself to rescue you in this situation. For me, in my brain, I generally think about 
forcing myself or pushing myself on that last round of a workout as if I'm being chased down in the final event at the CrossFit Games. Another thing I do in my head is I occupy my brain with action-focused thoughts. We all hit like this wall of pain. And when that happens, I give my brain a task to deny its chance to start thinking about how much pain I'm in, how much it hurts. For example, I was doing a workout last week that had a thousand meter run into 75 thrusters into 25 48 inch burpee box get overs. And during the box get overs, like once I got to rep four or five, my brain started thinking, oh my gosh, I have 20 more reps. This is agony. Cause you were literally starting these burpee box get overs in tremendous amounts of pain. And now you've got 25 more reps to go. So instead of thinking, gosh, this is gonna be really hard, what I focused on was getting myself to the ground as fast as possible and getting my chest off the ground. Then the next thing I focused on was when I jumped up on the box, I wanted my hands and my feet in a very particular spot on that box. And that became what I obsessed over for the next 20 reps. And I just made that a challenge. So instead of thinking about all of the pain, I was thinking about where my chest was going, where my hands were going. And that was enough to occupy my head. And all of a sudden, there were like five reps left. And then I just got through those five reps. So in your next workout, choose one of these mental games to play with yourself and see how that helps. The next way to develop grit is just don't take shortcuts. Developing grip is choosing to do that last piece of accessory work or mobility, even though I'm really done with the entire day. I'm just done and ready to get out of here. It's choosing to eat what I eat every day. It's choosing what not to eat every day, what to drink, what not to drink, when to go to bed and when to wake up every single day. And in doing so and being consistent, you get to know your numbers so you can't slack off on the intensity in your workouts. For example, if you know that you can do 50 wall balls unbroken in a particular workout, when that time comes in the workout, you know what to expect of yourself. It's not time to take a break. You know you can do 50, so just do it. So take a second to think about this. What is one way that you've been cheating yourself lately? And finally, the great thing about grit is that you will acclimate. Your brain will create the adaptation. Grit is something that's learned. It's like a tolerance to pain. You don't just have it, you develop it. Grit isn't something you're born with. Anyone can develop it. Maybe you aren't the most gifted athlete naturally, but you can be the grittiest. You get used to the pain. You get used to the cold water. You get used to the panic that you can't breathe and you should stop. You build confidence in your ability to endure pain, to feel it, to let it overwhelm you. You accept the challenge thrown at you. You can outwork and outlast everyone else. That's how I do it. And one final note, grit doesn't mean being reckless. Be smart, be intentional, stay safe, and push really damn hard every damn day.